Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the next seven days. So this is being being recorded on the 18th, uh, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. Okay, so for the next seven days, what do we have for Capricorn? The Emperor. The Emperor. This is about structure. Focusing on structure. Focusing on security. Focusing on your responsibilities. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries. This could be you. Capricorn is does uh, is very strong like the Emperor. Capricorn is very um, structured and stable and solid and definitely has the qualities of an emperor. Um, this is a very protective energy. This is standing in your power. Being in control. Taking control. Taking the lead. You know, very. this is a very wise individual. This is somebody who has a lot of life experience who has gained a lot of uh, wisdom over time, through battles. Um, <laughs> Interesting. We're going to get a bunch more cards, but I was just looking. If you look at this, this is very, uh, you know, if you, I, I don't know where this is coming from, but you see the gate. It looks like the gates of heaven to me. I don't, I've never seen that in this card before. So it's like, it's like this is the gates, the gates of heaven of some sort. This is the gates going through the gates. Um, the gates are opening. <laughs> Somebody is really, really strong, gained a lot of strength here. Gain some wisdom. Taking control. Absolutely. This is strength and stamina. So and this so nine of wands is strength and stamina. Somebody has persevered through some sort of battle. This is the truth here. They've gained wisdom through some sort of circumstance that has really taught them something. We have a leader here. This is a leader. Somebody has come a really long ways. It feels like they've been involved in a situation. Perhaps there was a dead end. This is a dead end. Something was standing in the way. But this is a warrior, and this is a warrior too. So we have this warrior here that I think is standing up, you know, standing up to something. There's been some sort of blockage. There's been like something in the way. But there's perseverance. Somebody's perseverance is paying off. Ooh, judgment reversed. The hermit. Yeah, somebody's been enlightened. Somebody has been enlightened. Somebody has... You know, traveled a long way. Somebody has come a really long way. Somebody's been in a, through a period of self-loathing, a period of self-doubt. Somebody hasn't been listening. Somebody ha listening to their to their intuition. Somebody hasn't made the right judgment call. Somebody may have been dealing with some karma, bad karma. You know, for their, you know, whatever. We get, we get, uh, you know, like I said in my other reading, you reap what you sow. You know, what you give comes back. 
So somebody, there could be some repercussions, you know. Somebody has been in a period of isolation. They've been in a period of hiding. And I think what they were going through this, because they were going through a period of loathing, you know. But I think they're coming out of it. They've definitely, we have somebody here that has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering. There's no doubt about it. They've probably hit their knees. Reached a point where, you know, on their knees, begging for change. Begging for, you know, absolution. Begging for forgiveness. Begging for, you know... A new life. Oh, the Empress. So we have a mother and a father here. Or a husband and a wife. This is the birth of a new life. She gives birth to a new life. But in order to get that new life, there is suffering involved. There is no doubt about that. So we have some suffering, absolutely, that has brought somebody to their knees. But now we have the birth of a new life. We have a blessing coming. She delivers a blessing. So you'd be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. We have Scorpio here, but it's in reverse. We have Virgo up here. We have Aries or Capricorn, because you do definitely represent the Emperor in many cases. So um, this is a partnership here. So this is a healer as well. She heals. She nurtures, she cares, she loves, she's abundance. She's the goddess of love. So you may, this person will do anything to heal, to nurture, to uh, take care. So, and this person is very beautiful, very kind, very compassionate. And she has learned compassion through suffering. Priestess. Yes, somebody has been unaware. Somebody has not been awake. That is no joke. Somebody hasn't been, like I said earlier, about not listening. Before this card even came up, I, I, usually people don't say not listening to your intuition with the judgment, but that was just a clarification right there. So, yeah, somebody has not been listening to their intuition. They haven't been listening to the messages. They have been you're probably blocking them, blocking the messages. Maybe they didn't want to hear them. You know, they're self loathing, they're self doubt. Yeah. So somebody has been probably given a message and they've been in denial about it or denying the message or something like that. You know, somebody may have thought they knew when they didn't really know. Not really listening, for sure. But this is breaking free, breaking free from something that has been weighing. Somebody is dropping a heavy weight. They're dropping a heavy load. Somebody's dropping weight, losing weight. Somebody is working on letting go of something that has been holding them down. Somebody is going, this is a, this personal freedom. Somebody's going their own way as well. Somebody is deciding to drop something that has been hindering their growth and they're deciding to go their own way for some of you. Some of you are, are, are definitely taking the high road some of you are just deciding you know what I, I i can't hold on to what doesn't serve me i need to go be by myself i need to isolate myself some of you are coming out of hiding in your your you're releasing something that you are you're releasing something that you were probably unaware you were probably unaware that it wasn't good for you you were holding on to it you were persevering holding on to something Okay, could be the mother of your children. Maybe you were holding on, and it was a dead end. It was a dead end. This is a dead end, unfortunately. Okay, somebody was holding on to something that had no ability to grow when they have an opportunity for a new life here, and the only way you get the new life is through struggle and pain and suffering. Yeah, somebody has been clinging to the past, clinging to the memory. Six of Cups reverse, that's the meaning of the card. Clinging to the memories, clinging to the past. Probably the mother of the children. Seriously. Here's the children, there's the mother. Somebody has been holding on to a dead end with the mother of their children. Or if you're the female watching this, you probably have the opportunity. You have multiple options. If you are the female watching this, you have multiple options. There could be somebody holding on to you. Or you could be holding on... 
to something that doesn't serve you that you need to let go of. <laughs> you know, something needs to be let go of. And it does have to do with the past. It does have to do perhaps with children or memories or something. There's multiple options. Like I said, there's multiple options. Choose wisely because what you own owns you. Somebody has been in a state of confusion and they have another option. And I feel like we have somebody here that, you know, is in the process of making a complex decision. They were, somebody's been asleep. Somebody has been unaware of the other options. They've been unaware that there is a better option. They've been unaware that, you know, you can stand up and go in another direction. They've been unaware that there is an opportunity for a new life. Somebody's been unaware. But we have somebody here that is taking back control. That is the truth. With this card and this card, somebody has gained strength. They've gained wisdom. Knight of Swords reversed. There's no hurry. There's no hurry. There's no need to rush into making a decision. Take all the time that you need to choose wisely, okay? When you let go of something that has weighed you down and held you down for so long, it takes time to <coughs> rediscover yourself. Somebody is going through a period of rediscovery, coming up with a new plan. Um, we have a rebirth here, okay? We do have a rebirth. Somebody is having a hard time moving forward. And that's fine. It, it, there's no need to hurry. There's no need to rush. And I think that um, somebody has given their energy away to a dead end f for quite some time. Okay? It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. You can't, you can't keep your eyes closed anymore. It's time to wake up and choose another option. Okay, I feel like we have we have somebody here that is making a conscious change to go down that new path, to take the high road, to look away from this situation that has brought them to their knees. Yeah, so that's going to clarify the Empress. Five of Cups. This is grieving. Somebody has been grieving. They've been focusing on the sadness. They've been focusing on the loss. When there is another opportunity for love, if they would just look in another direction. If they would just turn around and see that there is another opportunity for love, but they got to stop focusing on the loss. Again, down on your knees. Somebody has been on their knees focusing on, you know, a painful separation. When there's an opportunity for a new partnership, there's an opportunity for, you know, something brighter, something better. But if you keep focusing on the loss, focusing on the hurt, focusing on the pain, you, you'll never see what else is available. There is other options here, perhaps with a Taurus or a Libra. But this guy can't see it. This person can't see it because they are, they're focused on, on the pain. She's up here. This person is up here ready. She's the goddess of love. Oh, ho, ho, ho. seven of swords. Be careful. There's a sneaky, shady individual in the story cheating maybe somebody has cheated maybe there's been some cheating in the past maybe there's fear of hidden agendas because this is hidden agendas this is wanting to go needing to go back needing to go back and get what was left or needing to go back and you see that fox there's some definitely some sly shady shit going on here Oh my 
goodness gracious. We have an energy thief. We have somebody, you could be dealing with a thief, by the way, Capricorn. You could have somebody in your life that is a thief. Be careful. Or you could, yeah, you could be dealing with a thief. Somebody that's a thief. So be careful. They may see your vulnerability. They may see that you're vulnerable, that you're down on your knees, that you've been hurt, and they're going to steal from you. Be careful. Just be careful. Absolutely. It's almost like they want to kick you while you're down. <laughs> Beware. Make sure your eyes are open. Don't close. Remember I said, wait, open your eyes. Or I don't know if I said it. I was thinking it. Keep your eyes open. Keep eyes like in the back of your head. Okay? Be very, 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 very aware. Oh, my God. That's a loss. Monetary loss. I'm telling you what. There's some sort of loss here. It's almost like you're dealing with a thief. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. I'm Capricorn Moon, by the way. Um, this is a loss. A loss of money. A loss of some stability. A loss of security. It's a loss. So you guys could be losing something that... Losing some sort of security. Losing something. But you have the strength to persevere. You have the wisdom. You have the ability. The knowledge. Okay? Oh my God. So something is, is going in the wrong direction. I'm sorry. I can't make this up. I can't pretend and I'm not going to. So something is coming to a halt. Something is coming to an end. Something is not progressing the way that you had hoped. Something is, communication could be cut. It's something is no longer moving forward. This is a blockage. This is, this is um, something coming to a halt. Jealousy. You may have somebody that's jealous of you. Oh my God. Strength. We could be dealing with a Leo. This is somebody who is in the reverse. This is this is misery. This is somebody who is weak. This is somebody that uh, has a big ego. This is somebody who um, is a coward. You could be dealing with somebody who... Uh, is bringing you backwards. <laughs> this person... Oh my God. I don't know if they're stealing from you or what the hell they're doing. But it's like they're, they're, they're taking your money. They're, they're... Now this is like moving home or kicking... Change in home, change in residence. Um... Relationship problems, a loss of home or something like that. You could be dealing with somebody that is costing you money. Somebody is costing you money. And it's like they're selfish. They're selfish. Maybe they're not awake. They have hidden agendas. They, they, they maybe... <laughs> Whoever this person is, they're testing you. And I think that you see it. I think that you know it. I think you know. I think that you know that you are being, it's almost like used, abused, uh, taken advantage of by a liar. They're, they're, they're taking advantage of your vulnerability. It could be a child. You could be dealing with a child. It could be the wife. It could be an ex. I don't think it's her, though. I think it could be a wife. I mean, it could be a wife. I'm not sure who it is. But we have somebody here that is very vulnerable. And they are being taken advantage of by another person monetarily. Monetarily. You're dealing with a thief. You're dealing with a thief 
who doesn't care who they hurt. We got a coward here. Four of Wands. This is, could be one of your relatives, obviously. I mean, I think it is one of your relatives. I think it's somebody in your family. Um, this is the family card. It is a family card. It's a, it's, it is a relationship card. It's a happiness card. Um, commitment. Gathering. There's There could be a gathering coming up. There could be some sort of... gathering maybe it's a it's a family get together or something that you didn't expect you didn't expect so there could be an unannounced gathering coming up something unexpected There could be an unexpected gathering that comes about that gives somebody the opportunity now this Queen of Cups this is this is uh, intuition this is love nurturing tension yeah fight fight over this person you know I think that that there's some so, going to be some sort of tension or argument or something about another person there's going to be a gathering that comes about and there's going to be a conflict there's going to be a conflict that wake somebody up unfortunately so you didn't see it coming this is something you can't you don't see you don't see it coming there's going to be a, like a, a like a spontaneous get together where there's going to be a conflict there's going to be multiple people involved it does include one person in particular perhaps a water sign a pisces cancer scorpio perhaps this is the person that is the center of the conflict you know Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is the center of the conversation. This person, um, it could be the mother, it could be the wife, it could be the child, I don't know who it is. Whoever this person is, this person is the center of the conflict. And it's been, it's, 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 I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, this is bad news, it's bad luck, it's, it's, this per, whatever this is, it just brings you, takes you back a step, okay, it brings you backwards, it's clinging to control, we got somebody here that is trying to control another person's destiny, trying to keep somebody stuck, they're trying to basically steal their fortune or steal their debt steal their because the fortune if you think about fortune fortune is fortune right I just think I keep hearing thief we got a thief here um, it's like somebody doesn't want another person to move on they don't want another person to be happy they don't they don't want another person to find a new commitment they want to keep them blocked they want to keep them stuck but they don't want them either do you know what I mean they don't want them either so we have somebody here that is stuck absolutely stuck in a commitment that is a dead end because of another person's selfishness But that emperor is taking back control, is taking control, taking the lead, dominating, protecting yourself. So you need to protect yourself. You need to remain in control. You need to use your past experiences to guide you. 
make sure that your eyes are open. There will be a conflict at some sort of gathering. Could be a picnic, could be a family get-together, whatever. There's going to be some sort of conflict that may set you back, that may bring you backwards. It may cost you some money. So there's, there's a loss of money here. There's a loss of perhaps even a home. Um, it's going to lead you down a new path. Something, Somebody is going down a new path. They're going their own way. Somebody is going their own way. It's almost like they're leaving everybody else behind. Somebody is going their own way and they're leaving everybody else behind. This is a conflict. We definitely have a conflict here. We have um, some, some sort of conflict. Some sort of message is going to come through or some sort of conversation is going to ha be had that, you know, probably hurts. Okay, it hurts. Yeah, somebody is about to go down. It's like, let go. I'm going to let go. That this go. I'm going to let go of this emptiness. I'm going to look forward now. I'm going to I'm going to go after a new opportunity. I feel like we have somebody here that is letting go of a very negative situation with somebody who is a thief, somebody who doesn't care who they hurt, who is only out for themselves. And they probably are about to go in a new direction, go down that new path, go their own way. I'm leaving this behind. I'm going to seize the new opportunity. And I think this all happens because there's a conflict that kind of like pushes somebody over the edge. And there could be some, some thieving going on here. Definitely some thieving going on. One more card. Yeah, I'm going my own way. You don't complete me. This is, this is it. And I, I'm going my own way. I've, I've got to take action. I complete me. You don't complete me. I'm going my own way. I'd rather be alone. There's no joke. Somebody is going. It's like we got a, we got a split here. We do got some sort of split here. I'm going my own way. I'd, I'm working on myself. I'm going to work on my abundance. We got somebody here who's been very sneaky. Just trying to basically use another person for all they can. There's no love in these cards. There isn't. Except for here. Right here. She is the goddess of love. She offers love. She offers a new life. She's the birth of a new life. But she doesn't get that birth until it comes after suffering. It comes after suffering. So I feel like we have somebody here that is going their own way and they're not, you know, they're focusing on rebuilding, rebuilding their empire alone. And that means alone. Alone. Rebuilding alone. And that's what I got. I see that you guys are, 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 are you know, you're probably going to have a conflict that pushes you over the edge. That's what I see. Good luck.